Hello everyone, Apple Demo here. Here I have an iPod Touch first generation. This iPod has a few issues, namely the screen, no headphone jack, and the power button little metal piece is actually ripped off of the logic board. If I take another iPod, you can see that there's a little gold like pin right here, but on this one, it's just a bare metal contact because obviously at some point it got torn off the board. But, if I grab some tweezers, you can see right now the iPod's clearly on, and I short the, the little place to ground, you can hear that the iPod actually turned itself off. And there we go. So I'm going to do some logic board repair in this video and show you guys how you can repair this. So what you need, first of all, is another iPod. This one right here is completely toast. It doesn't work. What you also need is an iFixit little metal spudger, but you can use any flat metal tool to do this. And what you want to do is on the broken iPod, just tear off the metal piece. So now we have a little metal piece here, which now what we're going to do is first of all on this iPod, let's just shut it off. So we'll just short it to ground. We'll short it to ground for a few seconds here. And it'll say slide to power off, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So now what we need is every professional's, you know, this should be in every professional's um, arsenal of tools. Good old fashioned glue stick. And a pin, which obviously you want to go like that around the battery as well. But anyways, back to the real issue at hand here. What we're going to do is, it also might be worthwhile to have tweezers to position this in place. But first of all, we're going to, with our little pin, grab a little bit of glue. And then, we'll ball it up take it with the tweezers, this is why the tweezers come in handy, and put it around, just around the area. Not actually covering, you're noticing I'm not actually covering the contact, I'm just putting it a little bit close to it. So now, we take the little piece that we salvaged from the other iPod, take it with the tweezers here, being very careful not to break it, and then putting it into position which should be just where it should go. And then pushing the glue towards it. This might take a few attempts because obviously you wanna get continuity with the pads so that the button will actually work. So just be sure to position it. Hold it down. It's getting, it's getting out of here. I have to Oops. Yeah, like that may happen, but just don't worry that much. Just focus on trying not to break it first and foremost. That's what you want to do. So now, this is a little bit awkward with the camera here, but I'm sure we can achieve this. Okay. Just keep pushing. Okay. Okay, now it's looking better. So now, we got the first position correct. We're gonna, just going to grab some more glue, ball it up, grab it with the tweezers, and then let's put some behind it now. Okay. Now, we will keep pushing that on. Grab more glue for the third time, and this should be the final time, I believe. Ball it up. With the tweezers, grab it again, and then just put it on the other side. Don't, I wouldn't recommend putting it near the digitizer connector, um, just because that might cause issues down the line. Not Obviously, not that this won't cause issues down the line, but, okay, so the iPod is off. Let's see if we have continuity. And as you can see, by pressing this little metal thing, the iPod is actually turning on. So what we're gonna do now is just 
make sure it's in position. Now, I have a few back housings here. I'm not sure which has a working power button on it. but So we're just going to try this one to start off. Make sure that it's still in position. It does appear to be. Now carefully position this back under the housing. Okay. This housing appears to have a bit of a finicky power button, but if you can see, the power button works. And that, my friends, is how you do logic board repair on an iPod Touch first generation and fix the power button metal piece and make it work again. Thank you for watching.